All right, guys, just bringing y'all with me on a quick tour of Dieseland Action Park over here in Orlando. They have one in the Miami area as well. Um, but I figure since I haven't been here in a long time uh, that I'll take you all through the inside and let you all see everything that they have to offer. Last time I'm, I did a video here, it was actually for a bike night. Um, and I didn't really, again, didn't get a chance to kind of take you all through and show you all the little things that, uh, that Diesel and had in terms of bringing your family here to enjoy, whether it's the kids, whether it's you got family in town, or whether if you guys coming in to visit, this um, is a good place, a cool place to burn off some energy. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Name the movie that this uh, tow truck comes from. As you see, free admission. Look like they got some old school cars in here. Some Fords. Fords Ford Model T's. Check them out, guys. And this is all roped off, so obviously you can't get up on it, but. See if you can see that sticker right here. 1923. Ford MOT. With VIN numbers. Anybody that knows me knows this is my style right here. With that all white. <laughs> this is for anyone that truly knows me. And you got Orlando Auto Museum. The Auto Museum goes from right here. That's where you interact and you pay. When you enter right here, you go all the way through. All the way down through there. Check out that throne, man. I'll take that in my living room right there. That's a replica James Dean's uh, Porsche. I believe they're replicating this replica the one that he got in an accident with. It's a lot more stuff in here, guys, um, than it was when I first first came to check this place out we're gonna go over there in a minute y'all see what that is VIP tours available 12 p.m. 2 p.m. 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. guys This could be my next build. See that drip man right there? That's what man come with the ownership of these older vehicles, man, when they not top notch or A1. Especially if you actually have fluids in them and are um, turning them over and driving them. Main one right over there. You guys see back there? All Vespas. All on those shelves.
They got bowling here, guys. They got um, an arcade over here. Pool tables over here. Um, again, arcade video games all over here. Right on top, right on top. Large prize competition here. Make sure we are locked and loaded. Ready. Aim for the target. Three, two, shoot, 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 shoot. Right down in the middle. We got eight participants here at Wall for Water playing for the large prize. All right. Make sure we're hitting those buttons, hitting that target right in the middle. One little super mic toss of the game here at Walker Water. Make sure they're going all the way to the top. Maybe even past the roof here. And it's looking like number nine as well. We want to congratulate number nine. All right, all right. Choose one. Oh, 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 oh. These look pretty cool right here. I think I'm a little too big for these motorcycles. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the kind of whips they used to rock out with during the Stone Age. Check them out. Y'all see that thing right behind there, huh? To ride out in that man. Welcome to Bear Rock. Guys, uh, it's something different. Last time I seen it, it was set up with, like some type of nerf shooting type game. Now it's like some type of maze or something. I'm not sure what they're doing with that. Laser tag maze is what it is, guys. Bumper cars right here. Of course. Like I said, guys, there's plenty to do here. This is how the bumper cars are set up. And this is all indoors. So the great thing about it is even if it's bad weather, or it's raining out here in uh, Florida, you can always come here and, uh, and enjoy it. These remind me of those um, Elio trikes they got out now that you can buy. It's a trampoline park. I ain't gonna go all the way in, guys, but you see a trampoline park.
sports where you come to claim your prize. Big selection. 40,000 tickets to get you that bike up there, guys. That's your go kart. Pretty fun. Two food places. Cafe, it's all ice cream. That's your helmet. I think this one is closed down. Military pavilion. So they got a cinema movie theater here. I've actually been to this movie theater before. It's pretty cool. It almost make it uh, make you think like you in a throwback movie theater. That makes sense. Going to dock mini golf. This is one place to steal here from when it used to be like a, a mall uh, type spot. I remember this this going to dock mini golf still being here. So they've been here for a hot minute. Anybody who loves uh, pinball, this is where you want to be. All pinball. Jurassic Park, Batman, Sopranos, The Rolling Stones, Family Guy, WrestleMania, Kiss. Then it looked like um they also got lounges. So you can play uh Minecraft. Street Fighter, of course. All types of games. Hey, man, this is that type of place. I ain't playing. You could probably come in here and lose track of time and just kind of lose yourself. Love how they got this set up, man. Throwing Excelsior. I think that's what that said. I don't know, man. I ain't really never got down with these uh these axe throwing games, man. Especially if you having a drink or something. Alcohol is involved. I'm not sure that you you can, but I, I take it back. That homegirl drinking her boost. That might be a water. I don't know about that. These guys are dipping, man. Woo! Woo! Oh, it's 
Volkswagen Beetles. Old schools and some smart cars back then. For some reason, the owner of this place, I'm feeling like move around like the Great Gatsby or something, man, because there's a lot of stuff going on here, man. But I will say, it's very different and intriguing in its own way. And obviously they know how to draw a crowd being an indoor action park. Cool Volkswagen campus. These buses, man, are super popular, by the way. They have a cult following very much in demand for the right, you know, people. For the right group of people. Um, they're restoring these things. Some people are going across country camping in them. I'm hearing that the motors itself aren't very reliable, even when you rebuild them, put them together from the ground up. But uh, they are beautiful vans when they got up. And this right here says it's for sale. So I'm wondering also if a place like this at Diesel Land have some of these vehicles sitting uh, almost on consignment but are uh, waiting to be sold. And the owners are actually someone else other than the owner of the establishment. Check it out. Pairs, all these different old school pairs, people who collect these. We even got a biker shop in here, guys. Brothers, we got a mask in here. Slap sticks. We got motorcycle mirrors, hand grips, wallets, whips. I guess this is the diesel and gift shop. I don't know if this is part of the uh, van store or what, or this is just part of the establishment. I guess it's just part of the establishment. But I'm not gonna go in there, guys. You can come in here if you do uh, come to this establishment. But it's basically just a gift shop with different stuff, in it. like all the other gift shops um, out here in Florida. Look like it's about to rain now. All right, guys, so I'm going to close this one out. If you haven't done so already, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Most of all, share this video. If you did like this content, make sure you leave it in the comment section below, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.